Hi friends, welcome back to His Sparrow. Oh, I have something really awesome to share with you. The Lord has been moving and shaking in my life. And this weekend, He brought together some truths that He's been working on for years. I, I, I love it when that happens, and I'm really excited to share it with you. Well, as of late, I have been feeling the need to clean out spaces in my house. Because if I took the camera right now and showed you, I would cringe. Okay, I have piles of things on surfaces and in corners and busting at the seams. And I need to clean out. But I have a problem. I love my stuff. And I have more stuff than I have space. And it's hard for me to let go of my stuff. And I knew that. And so I got an audiobook to listen to. And it's called Decluttering at the Speed of Life. And I got this book because I knew I had to deal with what I was thinking before I could change my behavior. And um, because I have these voices that ring in my head, voices from childhood, from my grandparents and my parents of, oh, you can't get rid of that. You might need it someday. And a lot of other voices too that go along with that. And I knew I had to undo some of that and have right thinking. And so I've loved the book. It's been great. I'm starting to haul off stuff. And my oldest son was home. My 19-year-old son was home for the weekend. And I was sharing with him. I said, look, I've got this little space cleaned out. And are you noticing? It's getting a little cleaned out. And he said, that's great, Mom. And I told him about the book, that I was listening to this book. And it's helping me. And he said he was listening to a book also this weekend or last week and it was about he said they use this phrase that you not only do you have to clean out the cobwebs you have to kill the spider I just love that because so often we deal with just symptoms and we forget to get to the root cause and so I realized that um, you know even he came home really because he has to get his van repaired the engine light keeps is on and we know that that means there's a problem and you can't ignore it and he would be foolish to take tape and cover up the check engine light and he has to go and find out the root cause and in our lives we have to find out the root causes for why we do what we do and I have seen this in these recent years of my life and in friends lives that when I'm seeing that there's an overreaction to something, like if I'm getting very upset over something that really doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't um, merit that kind of reaction with anger or fear or having excess, excess pounds or excess stuff or addictions or anything like that where it's an overt reaction. It, if I trace it back, there's usually a lie that I'm believing and I need to get rid of the lie. I need to replace the lie with truth. And so in examining this in my life, I know I'm thinking, oh, I, I can't get rid of that. I might need it someday. What that really goes back to is the spirit of lack. And the spirit of lack is I'm afraid I won't have enough. And so I have to either take something that isn't mine or keep something that I'm supposed to pass on because I'm not really trusting God to take care of my needs. I've got to take care of myself. And I know that that's in me and I'm trying to deal with that and replace it. And you know, it's interesting as I was talking to Paul about this, that God has been speaking into this. He's been speaking truth into this. What is the name of this episode? His Sparrow. And those of you who've gone back and listened to my sparrow story, you know that God's been saying, you are my sparrow. I'll take care of you. And when I recalled that, I said, look at what God's been doing. He's been already trying to replace that lie in my life with the truth that he promises he'll take care of me. I can get rid of this stuff because if I ever need it again, he'll provide it. 
I don't need to have excess. And you know, I've even been praying, Lord, would you provide a home that had more space so I could have Bible studies? And, and he said in my spirit, oh, it spoke so clear. He said, you know, I've given you space, but you filled it with stuff. Clean out the stuff and you'll have room for the people. If I give you a bigger space, you'll just fill it with more stuff. So you have to deal with the, you have to kill the spider first and be faithful with what you have. And then we'll talk about later. So I'm really excited about what God's teaching me and just so humbled with how faithful he is. And years before I even knew that this lie was in me, he was starting to speak, whisper his love truths into my life. And it's exciting to embrace it. It's exciting to replace that lie with the truth that God loves me and he'll take care of me and I can trust him fully. And it's going to show. It's going to show in my home. It's going to show in my actions. It's going to show in the way I think. I don't have a specific scripture to share with you, but there are so many scriptures that says that God loves us and cares for us as his own. And I have a feeling there's a few of you that can identify with my very own struggle. Thank you for letting me share it with you. God bless.